TensorFlow Timmy is mass applying to internships while watching YouTube tutorials. I applied to 67 AI internships today. Surely one of them will reply. Huh, just got another interview request. Timmy's frustrated. He's refreshing his email. No responses. How? I've been grinding all day. Bro, you're grinding the wrong way. Cold applying doesn't always work. So what am I supposed to do? Start using these seven strategies that actually get you hired. During my bachelor's and master's degree in AI, I landed internships at companies like Amazon, Goldman Sachs, and even self-driving startups in the Bay Area. This channel is about how to not be a TensorFlow Timmy. Referrals do matter whether it's fair or not. Think about it. If there's thousands of people applying for a position, companies will choose someone who's already endorsed by someone already working at the company. It's just the safer option. Referrals helped me get internships at companies like Amazon, Goldman Sachs, and more. Don't get me wrong, I also cold applied a ton, which helped me get even more interviews at companies like Robinhood, DoorDash, and Databricks, and many more, but referrals were still an essential part of the process. The way I got referrals was by asking the more experienced students at my college who had already landed internships at these companies for a referral. If you don't have these connections, don't worry, there are alternatives. There are even paid services like refer.me. They set you up with an engineer at a top tech company, and if everything goes smoothly, they'll give you a referral. This drastically increases the chance that you'll get an interview. And no, I'm not sponsored by refer.me, I just think it's a great service to take advantage of. It's only a couple hundred bucks, which should be a no-brainer. If it helps you land a six-figure internship, or job, that's a crazy return on investment. Okay, this next one is a bit out there, but hear me out. Post content on social media. Talk about your projects and your portfolio. Share your thoughts on the latest innovations in the field. Anything that could provide value to other people and is generally constructive. Obviously, don't go about posting memes. It might feel cringe at first, but I promise it will pay off. When you apply for a position, recruiters often take a look at your LinkedIn. And if they see that you have a small following and built up a decent presence, that'll increase the the chance they give you an interview. Companies want employees that can post about the company and improve the brand. And that's ultimately why posting on LinkedIn instead of just lurking can actually help you land a job. Okay, instead of just contributing random pull requests that nobody actually needs, identify startups or research groups that might be in need of interns. Contribute to their repos. Message the maintainers about feature requests or bug fixes that actually align with the startup's needs. For example, many startups might be working on fine-tuning LLMs. See if you can make a meaningful contribution and then apply to the position, showcasing your work. This will dramatically improve your odds, and it's a much better approach than making random mini contributions to GitHub repos. Okay, before we proceed with the rest of the video, I just want to remind you that you've got to take action on these, iterate, see what works, and keep experimenting. I actually know tons of students that have landed internships with hackathons and Kaggle competitions. Many companies use these competitions to scout out talent. For example, last year I remember that eBay held an online ML competition to see who could build the best model. The winner was awarded a six-figure internship. And even if you don't win, personally reaching out to the judges with your project could increase the chances you land an interview. Okay, this one legitimately requires no experience at all. As long as you know the fundamentals of ML, this strategy will work. I promise that if you email every single professor at your school, at least one will give you a chance to work with them. Just make sure you're actually interested in their work first. This will look great on your resume when you apply for industry internships, which pay a lot more than university internships. It's actually how I got my first internship. Research isn't just for PhD students, it's for anyone looking to get ahead.
don't just apply to roles with AI or machine learning in the title. The truth is many job titles are ambiguous and many software engineers and data scientists are also working with machine learning. And on the other hand, many ML engineers don't even touch the models. Plus the skills from software engineering and data science are 100% relevant to ML engineering. So this experience will help you. In fact, this is actually one of the best strategies for becoming an AI ML engineer. If you can get experience with software engineering first and then self-study machine learning, then you can become an ML engineer without even doing a master's degree. I know I dogged on cold applying at the start of the video, but the truth is it can still be effective. I know it's a huge pain since filling out applications feels like monkey work and it's super repetitive. It's not the most efficient strategy, but if you want to maximize your chances and leave no stone unturned, you've got to cold apply on top of getting referrals. I've been able to land internships at top tech companies with just cold applying, so the strategy isn't completely dead. My recommendation is to try and get referrals when possible and if you can't, submit a cold application. It's better than not applying at all. Okay, I want to end this video with an eighth and final bonus tip. The truth is you can't avoid the hard work of building a portfolio, implementing papers from scratch, building RAG workflows, fine tuning models. These are all essential projects to master LLMs and get ahead in today's market. If you'd like my team and I to help you with this, check the top link in the description and see if it's a right fit for you. And as always, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.